Computer Configuration and User Configuration There are two major divisions of policy settings. Computer settings, which are contained in the Computer Configuration node, and User settings, which are contained in the User Configuration node. The Computer Configuration node contains the settings that are applied to computers, regardless of who logs onto them. Computer settings apply when the operating system starts, during background refreshes, and every 90 to 120 minutes thereafter. The user configuration node contains settings that apply when a particular user signs into the computer, during background refreshes and every 90 to 120 minutes thereafter. Within the computer configuration and user configuration nodes are the policies and preferences nodes. Within the policies nodes, under the computer configuration node and the user configuration node, are a hierarchy of folders that contain policy settings. Because there are thousands of settings, it is beyond the scope of this course to examine individual settings. However, it is worthwhile to define the broad categories of settings in the folders. The Software Settings node. The Software Settings node is the first node and it contains only the software installation extension, which helps you specify how your organization installs and maintains its applications. The next one is the Windows Settings node. In both the Computer Configuration and User Configuration nodes, the Policies node contain a Windows Settings node, which includes the scripts, security settings, and policy-based course nodes. It also contains the name resolution policy, folder that contains settings for configuring direct access. The scripts node. With the scripts extension you can specify two types of scripts, startup and shutdown scripts in the computer configuration node and log on and log off scripts in the user configuration node. Startup and shutdown scripts run at computer startup or shutdown. Log on and log off scripts run when a user signs in or signs out. When you assign multiple log on and log off or start up and shut down scripts to a user or computer, the script's client site extension executes the scripts from the top to the bottom of the list. You can determine the order of execution for multiple scripts in the properties dialog box when a computer is shut down. The client site extension or CSE first processes log off scripts followed by shutdown scripts. By default, the timeout value of processing scripts is 10 minutes. If the log off and shutdown scripts require more than 10 minutes to process, you must adjust the timeout value with a policy setting. You can use any ActiveX scripting language to write scripts. Some possibilities include Microsoft Visual Basic scripting, JScript, Perl, MS-DOS style batch files, logon scripts on a shared network directory in another forest are supported for network logon across forests. Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 all support Windows PowerShell command line interface scripts. Let's move on to the next node. And it is Security Settings node. By using the Security Settings node, a security administrator can configure security with GPOs. You can do this after or instead of using a security template to configure system security. The next one is the Policy Based Quos node. This quality of service Quos node known as the policy-based quos node, defines policies that manage network traffic. For example, you might want to ensure that users in the finance department have priority to run a critical network application during the end-of-year financial reporting period. You can do that by using the policy-based quos node. In the user configuration node only, the Windows Settings folder contains the additional folder redirection node. With folder redirection you can redirect user data and settings folders such as app data, desktop, documents, pictures, music, etc. from their default user profile location to an alternate location on the network where you can manage them centrally. The next node is Administrative Templates node. In the Computer Configuration and User Configuration nodes, the Administrative Templates node 
contains registry-based group policy settings. There are thousands of such settings available for configuring the user and computer environment. As an administrator, you might spend a significant amount of time modifying these settings. To assist you with these settings, a description of each policy setting is available in two locations. On the Explain tab in the Properties dialog box for the setting, Additionally, the Settings tab in the Properties dialog box for each setting also lists the required operating system or software for the setting. And on the Extended tab of the Group Policy Management Editor window. The Extended tab, which appears on the lower right of the Details pane, provides a description of each selected setting in a column between the Console tree and the Settings pane. Also, it lists the required operating system or software for each setting. You can use the GP update command to initiate a group policy refresh. You'll learn more about GP update later in this course. To verify which GPOs and settings apply to a computer and user, you can use the GP result command. The GP result command can show more or less detailed depending on the options that you type.